The Lord be with you. Welcome to morning prayer, daily prayer for individuals and families for morning. From Lutheran Service Book, page 295, for morning. There are also orders of service for afternoon, um, noontime, and evening um, in the Lutheran Service Book at the same place. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the morning, O Lord, you hear my voice. In the morning, I prepare a sacrifice for you and watch. My mouth is filled with your praise and with your glory all the day. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 31. Oh, how abundant is your goodness, which you have stored up for those who fear you and worked for those who take refuge in you, in the sight of the children of mankind. In the cover of your presence you hide them from the plots of men. You store them in your shelter from the strife of tongues. The second reading is from Matthew chapter 6. Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, nor about your body, what you will put on. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds of the air. They neither sow nor reap nor gather into barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour to his span of life? And why are you anxious about clothing? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet I tell you, even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? Therefore do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Our devotional reading is from Portals of Prayer for Wednesday, August 26th. Therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. My grace is sufficient for you. When I was a young mom, I almost always felt depleted. I worried I would never feel refreshed. Then in the course of a Bible study, I came across 2 Corinthians 12, 9. My grace is sufficient for you. Is, not was, and not will be. His grace is, today, right now, sufficient for me. In our Matthew passage, Jesus points out one of humankind's basic problems. We worry. And what we worry about most is the future. In verse 25, Jesus says, Therefore I tell you, do not be anxious about your life, what you will eat or what you will drink, what you will put on. Verse 34 shows Jesus pairing up anxiety with tomorrow, the future. When you're going through trying times, it's often not as what is happening right now that presses in on us. It's what we fear will happen that sets us into anxiety. Jesus says, yes, today can be hard, but you don't need to suffer with anxiety for the future. The answer is settling into God's care, goodness, and provision for this day. His grace is sufficient for you. Lord God, thank you for today's grace. Help me not be anxious for tomorrow, but to trust in your goodness, care, and provision. Amen. We pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, merciful Father, who created and completed all things, on this day when the work of our calling begins anew, we implore you to create its beginning, direct its continuance, and bless its end, that our doings may be preserved from sin, our life sanctified, and our work this day be well-pleasing to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body, and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. Then go joyfully to your work this day. In the confidence of God's grace, which is sufficient for this day and for every day. We'll be streaming again tomorrow morning for daily prayer at 7 a.m.